This is one of multiple network address translation or NAT videos. This is a troubleshooting video. In this scenario, you've been told that some hosts in the internal network are not able to connect to the internet. In this GNS3 topology, I've got four routers. Router two and router three are acting as PCs. They have IP routing disabled. They have their default gateways configured as router one. Router one is gonna act as our network address translation router, and router four is gonna act as Google. So let's test the network. Can router one ping the DNS server? So router four pretending to be the Google DNS server? Yes, it can. What about router three? Doesn't look like it's able to ping. Let's investigate, so show IP route. We can see that IP routing is disabled on this router, but its default gateway is configured as 10.1.1.1. What about on router two? Router two has the same configuration. Router two can ping 10.1.1.1 and can ping Google. Router three can ping 10.1.1.1 we could trace to Google. It gets to its default gateway 10.1.1.1, but then nothing happens. So we have a timeout on router one. So on router one, let's confirm the IP addressing firstly. F0 slash one has an IP address of 10.1.1.1. That's the inside of the network. F0 slash zero has an IP address of 8.8.8.254. .8 so let's do a debug on this router. Debug IP NAT. Router two was able to ping Google before and still can. And we can see the NAT translation taking place. When router three pings google.com, we don't see any NAT translations. Show IP NAT translations. So we see a NAT translation for router two. That's the IP address of router two. So show IP interface brief will show us that. So we can see the NAT translation for router two, but we don't see a NAT translation for router three. What happens if we clear the NAT translations? So there are no NAT translations at the moment. When I ping from router three to Google, we suddenly see translations and the ping starts succeeding. So can router two ping google.com? Notice router two can now no longer ping google.com. Let's clear the NAT translations again. Router two is now able to ping google.com, but router three is not. So it looks like when we clear the NAT translations, one device is able to connect to Google. Show run. F0 slash zero is correctly configured with an IP address and is configured as the outside NAT interface. F0 slash one has the correct inside IP address and is configured as the inside NAT interface. Okay, can you see the problem? What's going on here? Notice when I clear the NAT translation again, and then ping from router three, which wasn't able to ping previously. The pings now succeed. Show IP NAT translation. We now see a NAT translation for router three. So going back through the configuration, and I'll scroll down to the NAT config. Can you see the problem? Okay, have a look at this. IP NAT inside source list one 
which is pointing to access list one. That means that any IP address will be NADed, but it's pointing to a pool called my pool. The NAT pool is configured with a starting IP address of 8.8.8.2 and an ending IP address of 8.8.8.2. That means we've only put one IP address in the pool. Hence, only one internal host can be natted at any given time. So let's remove this. We told that we can't remove it, so let's clear the IP NAT translations. Translation star, and try and remove it again. So it's removed now. What we should do is add additional IP addresses to the pool. So I'll add from two to 20. Previously it was from 8.8.8.2 to 8.8.8.2, but now it's going from two. To 20. So show run pipe include NAT will show us that configuration. So can router 3 ping Google? Yes, it can. Can router 2 ping Google? Yes, it can. It took it a while, but router 2 can ping Google, router 3 can ping Google, and we see the NAT translations for both of them. Notice please that the one device is natted to 8.8.8.3 and the other one is natted to 8.8.8.2. So show IP NAT translation shows us that two addresses in the pool have been used. Show IP NAT statistics. At the moment we have six dynamic translations Notice our pool shows us the list of IP addresses. So we have a starting address of 8.8.8.2, an ending of 8.8.8.20. There are 19 addresses in the pool and two have been allocated. So this would be another good command to use. Let's clear the NAT translation and remove the command. and I'll add it back with only a single IP address in the pool. So show IP NAT translations, no translations at the moment. Show IP NAT statistics. Notice we only have one IP address in the pool. So when router three pings, and we look at the statistics again, Notice 100% of the pool is allocated. So that's why router 2 is not able to ping because the, because the pool consists of a single IP address and it's already been allocated. So again, be careful with your pools. You need to allocate enough addresses to the pool. So I'll clear the NAT translations again. I'll remove that pool, configure it again with, let's say, from two to 25, to show IP NAT statistics. We have 24 addresses in the pool. In this range, none have been allocated. I'll send some traffic from both router two and router three So we can see that router two is being natted and so is router three. And now when we look at the statistics, notice 24 addresses are available, two have been allocated. So that was an example of how to troubleshoot network address translation or NAT. I hope you found the video useful. If you enjoyed it, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.